What's going on guys, it's CJ and welcome back to another episode of Scum Shorts Tutorial. In this video we're going to have a look at lot picking and exactly how this will affect you in the game. As always, thanks to GPortal for sponsoring this video. If you would like 5% off your own server on Scum or any other game that they provide, then check out the link in the description. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up and let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing that we're going to have a look at in this lockpicking guide are the actual tools that you're going to need to start to lockpick. Now as you can see here, we have a number of materials laid out on the table and we're just going to take you through them because two of them are the most important things that you first need in order to actually get lockpicking and then you're going to need the actual lockpicks. So as you can see here, you have two screwdrivers. Uh, you first have your red one which is going to come in a small kind of basically one bar in your storage and it's going to be free uses in order to improve that basically what you're going to want to find is your big screwdriver now this will come with 40 uses as you can see here and this is basically going to be a big big game changer if you're actually going to be attempting to lock things because you're not going to have to carry about lots and lots of these small screwdrivers the way that lock picks basically come around are your standard which is your safety pin which you can then craft into your improvised lock pick which is standard here as you can see here it's just a one out of one use and then we'll head on to the medium one which is here uh, that is four uses that you have with that one and then your actual advanced lock pick is this red one here now these are all obviously going to be uh, more effective they're going to have longer points of breaking um, and they're obviously going to be dependent on your thievery skill and how long you actually have to use them before they break now you also have these bobby pins here as you can see uh, which you can basically find um, lots of places throughout the world usual general looting places and you can then make bundles of lock picks uh, sorry bundles of bobby pins and then uncraft them and basically just craft them into one of these little lock picks the improvised ones uh, and you come these are pretty handy actually these little safety pin boxes all you need to do is pick them up and then you uncraft it here um, just through your inventory you right click take out bobby pin and then you basically just craft it um, as you can see it goes into your uh, vicinity or your inventory and then you go into your crafting menu and you will just find the lock pick and then you can craft it like so now bear in mind that these are the standard lock picks uh, and they're not going to last you very long now onwards to the actual lock picking itself and how you can basically get better at this and get a practice before you jump straight into it so here we have our lock picking board which you can craft in the game to get a little bit of practice before you then head in to the world of scum and start attempting to lock pick the various containers and loot boxes kill boxes etc in the game before you do that you need to understand that there's three different types of locks here now what we have is the standard rusty lock then you have your silver lock and then you have your gold so basic medium and your advanced now these come with different levels they'll have different sweet spots so sweet spots they'll be harder to break um, and basically just harder to get into you can also craft these locks in the game all you need to do is get yourself a toolbox it doesn't have to be the red one it can be anyone improvised and then you need one of these padlocks basically in order to craft a lock it'll go in order of skill um, so you can basically for your your basic locks the rusty all you need is five and a toolbox and then for your silver lock you need ten of these padlocks and a toolbox and then for your advanced your gold locks you will need 15 of these and then a toolbox as well um, and yeah that's it all you need to do is have the padlocks the number of required and then a toolbox and craft them and you can put them on your base now with the lock picking board it's a really good tool because you can practice basically what you want to do um, if you want to do your basic, your medium or advanced. Um, as you can see in the crafting menu there's a number of things that you can craft and let's just find the lock picking board here. Um, you can craft that. Uh, where are we? There we are. Yep, lock picking board. Uh, it doesn't require a lot um, and you can craft that and get as many practices as you want. Uh, now let's just do a basic example we'll pick up a small screwdriver just for the purpose of this and a general lock pick and we'll go into the lock picking board now we're just going to for the purpose of the demonstration do a basic lock pick 
and as you can see here the tutorial tells you to move your mouse so you're going to want to move the mouse which jiggles basically the lockpick itself and F will push the screwdriver in. What you're trying to do is basically find the sweet spot so that it turns all the way and picks the lock. Generally what happens with the locks is it's a pre-allocated randomly selected little kind of half circle in which you'll find it and then you're going to want to just ever so slightly keep pressing F so that you then find the sweet spot. The sweeter the spot it will start to turn more. So let's just see if you can do this for the purpose of this. As you can see every time you use it you're not going to be able to go all the way because it will eventually break. And you're also going to have a timer which is dependent on your skill of thievery which is going to influence how often you can actually use this. As you can see when you're doing the lock picking board we do not have to actually use the uses that we have in the screwdriver. In lock picking it's going to basically come in two ways you can either be really good at it or you can kind of suck at it so it really depends on how you go in the game and the best way to practice is by getting one of these boards and just going from there. And now coming on to the final part of the guide which is basically your lock protection. These basically act as zappers and they come in the three forms again which is your basic, medium and advanced. Depending on what type of lock protection you put on is going to be dependent on the damage that it's going to do to somebody that's trying to get inside your base. In order to put locks on or lock protection all you need to do is walk up to your door as you can see here we created a double door um, which is part of your base building you can also claim doors in the game etc in towns uh, and all you need to do to place this on is you drag the lock over and then you drag the second lock you're going to want to put basically as many locks on some you can put locks a mixture of protection is entirely up to yourself and then all you need to do is then drag the protection slot into it and whoever is then trying to basically pick that lock is then going to have to pick that and then going to have to deal with that protection uh, which is going to shock them every time that they unsuccessfully pick your lock. Now the way you can mitigate this is by wearing rubber gloves in the game which can be found um, pretty much just for your general looting places. This is however going to give you less time to lock pick it and it makes it slightly harder um, but Obviously, if you are quite a skilled lock picker, then you can do this without um, and you can just risk it because it's going to take HP from you. Every time that you're picking a lock as well, you're going to have to have fame points. Generally, every time you have an unsuccessful attempt, it is going to take some fame off you. So be aware that you will have to have fame points in the game in order to basically make sure that you can pick a lock as well as the required materials, which are a screwdriver and one of your lock picking items. If you want to remove a lock or protection, all you need to do is hold F and then you remove those locks and then basically it goes back into your inventory or the vicinity on the ground and that is how you would then remove them. If you say for example wanted to put some rusty locks on that door um, straight away just so you have some protection you can then upgrade them and put them anywhere else. That is it for this short guide. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and as always please subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time for the next guide on Scum.